This presentation explains why we need to transport radioactive materials and shows how we do this safely and securely. Every day, all over the world, radioactive materials are being moved. This makes a big difference to our lives. Radioactive materials are used in hospitals to help diagnose and treat life-threatening diseases. They are used to sterilise products for medical, industrial and other purposes. Radioactive materials are used to check for cracks in welds in bridges and pipelines. They are used to make electronic components. Radioactive materials are used to measure pollution in our rivers and oceans. They are used in smoke and fire detectors. Last but not least, radioactive materials are used to make electricity, reliably. So what exactly are radioactive materials? They are substances that emit or radiate energy in the form of strong particles or rays. It is this energy that gives them their useful properties, but that can be dangerous if not carefully managed. When shipped, radioactive materials are classed as dangerous goods. The United Nations puts dangerous goods into nine classes. Radioactive are called Class 7. Of the hundreds of millions of dangerous goods packages shipped around the world each year, around 15 million are Class 7. Less than 5% of these relate to nuclear energy, while over 50% relate to medicine. Class 7 makes up a very small percentage of all dangerous goods transport by sea. This percentage is higher for air mode. Let's follow one type of radioactive material as an example. Most people know that uranium is used as fuel in nuclear reactors. Uranium ore is mined in a few countries, one of them being Australia. From Australia, it must be shipped in drums to another country, such as France, for initial processing. From France, it may be shipped in cylinders to the United Kingdom to undergo a process called enrichment. And from the United Kingdom, it might go to the United States in smaller cylinders for conversion into nuclear fuel pellets. Finally, from the United States, the fuel could be transported to one of 30 countries which produce nuclear power. The rules and regulations controlling the movement of radioactive materials are very strict. For nearly 60 years, the International Atomic Energy Agency, IAEA, has published transport safety regulations that are used by all countries involved in such shipments. The IAEA transport regulations are incorporated into the Orange Book, which governs all dangerous goods transport which are then incorporated into the specific regulations for each means or mode of transport, such as road, rail and air. Transporters of radioactive material use a safety and depth approach to minimise risk. First, they make sure the right package is used for each transport. Second, they are very careful to comply with all safety regulations. Finally, they are fully prepared to respond in case something does go wrong. Concerning the first layer of the safety and depth approach, using the right package for the job. Because some radioactive materials are more dangerous than others, transporters use a graded approach to select the correct package. This takes into account the type of material, the amount, the level of radioactivity and its physical state, whether it's a gas, a solid or a liquid. Among the most common types of packages used are what are called accepted and industrial packages. They are used for shipping radioactive material in small quantities, material with extremely low levels of radioactivity, and objects that are not radioactive but are contaminated. Examples include test samples, consumer products or tools used in a radioactive area. Such material poses very little hazard to the public or environment. Type A packages are used for shipping material whose activity levels are higher than may be shipped in an accepted or industrial package. 
radioisotopes used in medical or industrial applications are commonly shipped in Type A packages. Again, such material poses little hazard to the public or the environment. Type B packages are transported less frequently. They are required for highly radioactive material and must be able to withstand severe accident conditions without releasing radiation or radioactive material that might be a danger to the public or environment. Examples of material shipped in a Type B package include used nuclear fuel and high-level waste. These packages are subjected to tests such as a 9-metre drop, a 1-metre drop onto a sharp object, a 30-minute fire at 800 degrees Celsius and a 15-metre immersion underwater. There are also two specific types of nuclear material, uranium hexafluoride and fissile material, which need additional features designed into the packages, but can be shipped in either Type A or Type B packages. In addition to ensuring that the right package is used for each job, everyone involved in the transport of radioactive material must comply with safety requirements to ensure an incident-free operation. To begin with, every shipment that occurs is made between facilities that are authorised by regulators to handle the material. Second, everyone involved in the transport of radioactive material is given training prescribed by the IAEA. This training is repeated from time to time, so personnel are kept up to date on the regulations. Then, each shipment is checked for radiation levels before departure and upon arrival to make sure it meets regulations. Fourth, every organisation is required to maintain a quality management system that is accepted by the regulatory authorities. Fifth, each shipment displays labels, placards and a unique UN number that identifies the hazard. Finally, as stated, Every shipment is made using certified package designs that have been tested to make sure they can carry the material in a safe and secure manner. The third layer in the safety and depth approach is being prepared in case something does go wrong. Though rare, if an incident should occur, the transporter will immediately activate its emergency response plan. This alerts local and national authorities and first responders. These first responders make a rapid assessment of the situation. Shipping papers, labels and placards tell them exactly what is on board. And they are trained to take the correct steps. And now a few words about security. Security, like safety, is organised according to a graded approach. The IAEA provides rules and guidance to countries and transporters to help them meet all aspects of transport security. For example, shipments of Type A and Type B packages use a very basic security feature, the unique ID security seal, to assure transporters that neither the packages nor the cargo container has been tampered with. Security seals are checked before dispatch and on arrival and usually at each change of transport mode during a shipment. Shipments are carefully planned and monitored along the transport route. Finally, certain Class 7 shipments, for example those containing highly radioactive material, are required to have a security escort. Safety is always the top priority. Because of the excellent cooperation between regulators, shippers and transport companies, radioactive material transport has a very good safety record. This safety record spans nearly 60 years and involves over half a billion packages shipped. In fact, during more than half a century of transport, according to the IAEA regulations, there has been no case of death, injury or significant damage to the environment due to radioactivity. And in order to maintain this record, the transport community is always looking for ways to improve safety and security. So what does this all add up to? Shipping radioactive materials round the world 
provides society with reliable energy, a cleaner environment, a sound infrastructure, fire protection, prevention against infection, and a longer life for our friends and family. As for the transport itself, it's tightly regulated, involves the use of carefully graded packaging, properly trained personnel, a robust emergency response system, and a commitment to ever better safety and security. That's why we say these really are goods worth shipping using systems you can trust. <laughs>